Hey guys, this is Colin here with Up North Outdoors. And today, we just got hit with a huge blizzard, so we're gonna be going and doing some wild chirping. We're gonna see how far we can climb up a tree until it flips down backwards. We're Don't gonna see scared. how much snow. Crap we're not gonna do. Up North North's dad is gonna be coming out with us. He's gonna be the driver. Um, we absolutely pushing the Sherp to its limits, beating the living crap out of it. So we're doing all that then? No, we're, we're good we're with that? We're going in deep snow, going over some mouth. We're gonna have some fun without damaging the Sherp. Without damaging the Sherp. <laughs> That's why I'm driving. Woo! So what's first on the agenda on this wild shrimp adventure? It was the perfect tree! We uprooted it! See, now you can take that tree, and if it doesn't have to fill up such a big room, you can put it right flat to a wall, so it only sticks out half as far. Oh, so you half just like... Half the tree to decorate, uh... half the space used. Chirp USA and Christmas tree service sales. Yeah, we give you the roots and all. Yeah. Well, then you can put it in the water and it lives. You can replant it after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. I think that was already there. Uh, no, no, I did not do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was already I there. I did not do that. If that little dent is the only thing that happens, nailing a tree like that in third gear, I'd say that's pretty good. What we're actually doing today, according to Up North Outdoors' dad, is we're actually testing his custom stainless steel side light bar pods. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. We're doing a durability test on them. It's a new accessory you came up with for the Sherp. Uh, they already survived a full impact roll. And now we're seeing how they handle with branches, branches and brush, yeah. So the roll is the easy part. So those, those are the pods we're testing out. Stainless steel, riveted on protect light bars. When we used to, clients would want to get light bars mounted on the side of their Sherps and we put them on ours. They'd get ripped right off from branches from the stuff that we're doing. Um, so we kind of came up with that to protect them. <laughs> oh. Definitely aren't the two we normally yeah, go through. <laughs> That'd be epic driving through there. Yeah. What? Ah. It's like going through the car wash. Oh, there's a deer right there. Warp. 
path. I don't even know if he's on our property anymore. Try not to get killed. Ray, this is why I told you not to come. A tree! There's a tree right there! I can't see it! Can you get your ass back there and look? Yeah, you gotta go this way. There's a tree right there. There you go. I thought you saw it. There's another tree right there. You gotta go that way. That's a little one. There you go. No, straight back, straight back. We will be back to conquer this. I promise you they can do a lot bigger and more trees than this. We just were not getting good traction in the snow and then there were so many big ones in the same spot. It was hard to get the weight and traction to knock them all down. But I'll throw in a clip here so you guys can see what they can really do. <laughs> These aren't small trees by any means. I mean, that's a probably an eight inch tree at the bottom. Oh, big one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. All right, my fingers are freezing cold. I'm gonna hop in. Wanna take it easy on the way back, Colin? Your back's hurt? Yeah, my knee hurts. And I'm kinda of nauseous.
<coughs> How's it feel like your trip broke? Huh? Right. Look at right here. You backed into a tree. Oh, no. Did it break or pop? Oh, yeah, that's broke. Well, it's a good thing, good thing Sherp USA has taillights in stock. Light pods held up. Yeah, light pods held up great. What about the other one? I didn't see the other one. Yeah, thoroughly tested. Yeah, you think the testing was a success then? I, I think so. I think the side light pods are golden. These things aren't supposed to be tanks. No. But... You can definitely really do what you want to do with them. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Then. When did you do that? Was that pushing against those last two big ones? Yeah, no, and we were stuck in them trees and it wouldn't go over. Oh man. The tree got right in here. Yeah, I suppose that's the difference with the old pros. Uh, they would. Well, we pull these out. Yeah. You can pull this out and straighten it out and then we've actually made full reinforcement plates. Armor. I go over that whole assembly. I think maybe when we redesign our new bumpers with our winches inside, yeah, I think we should come up here with a guard. Do some armor right here. Yeah. Yeah. We should armor up this one. Yeah. We definitely test them. <laughs> yeah, we do. This is our weekend here at, at Chirp USA. Yeah, this is called Saturday. Up north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you think, uh, cameraman number 2.5? Uh, All right, that's enough talking from you. Know. You hold the camera. Right. So yeah, guys, Sherp testing the, the light bar pods. They held up. We, we might have to go back out at some point, though, and try to finish conquering that, making that trail. We might have to take out a couple of big cheese with a chainsaw, but we can't let that stop us either. You know, I, I don't even watch your outros, so just cut it. Done. No one wants to hear you gab about it. We did it. They got the action shots. Done. Over. Cut. Yeah, I kind of have to go up anyway. What's up, guys? It's Preston here with Up North Outdoors. I'm taking over the channel. Uh, Cullen died in a unrelated incident. I'm the new channel owner. Alright. Ha <laughs> ha. 